Hola chicos! Yeah, Diamond Guitarist here. What have we got for you today? This is a fantastic variation on the chromatic scale, which you should already be doing because you want to uh, develop the motor mechanics, the muscle memory, all four fingers. So, uh, you know, this the, uh, the chromatic scale generally people play like this. Chromatic scale exercise, I mean, a proper chromatic scale play the extra note here because then it's every single note but with the exercise we just stay in one position and then we move up I like to do it backwards because that's good practice a lot of people find it a little bit more difficult to do it going uh, in reverse descending and what we're concentrating on here is playing each note right behind the fret not here but right behind the fret so we get those nice even sort of gaps between our fingers we're playing on our fingertips we're not playing flat fingered so in order to do that we need to have our thumb in the middle of the back of the neck and it needs to be kind of in line with the second finger that's the best place when we're doing these kind of exercises we're doing alternate picking so this is a great warm-up in itself and you, what you probably do, you just keep going up a fret at a time until you get to like 10th position. And then you come all the way back down again. That's a great warm-up. Now the variation I'm talking about is this. Let's break down what I'm doing there. So each time I go to a new string, I'm starting on the next finger up. So the first one, start on the first finger, just ascend. Then I start on the second finger and I ascend. And then I play that, put that last one on the end this time. And then third finger, always ascending. So on that last string, this is the last group of the four. And then we start again on the, on the one, on the B string. Then the third finger, uh, second finger. And we move up a position start again because we've got back so it's like a four turnaround over six strings two three four one two three with a position shift four one two three four one two three four you can see how that's really going to help with your muscle memory all four fingers finger independence finger dexterity all that good shit i was when i was calling out i was calling out you know the, the, the basically the change of finger each time so if you didn't get it first time just watch the video over again it's not rocket science so we'll see you next time and uh, hit me up if you've got any questions about it let's connect if you don't even know who i am let's have a chat We'll see you on the next one.